four, but this is a grade three, bilateral luxation. This dog is walking bow-legged in its conformation, and he's just kind of limping. He doesn't really take any uh, non-weight-bearing steps. He just doesn't move normally. His patellas are displaced, um, in this case, to the medial side. A couple of steps. Whereas the one on the right is more typical of a dog with a grade three, or possibly a grade four, but this is a grade three, bilateral luxation. This dog is walking bow-legged in its conformation, and he's just kind of limping. He doesn't really take any uh, non-weight-bearing steps. He just doesn't move normally. His patellas are displaced, um, in this case, to the medial side. A couple of steps. Whereas the one on the right is more typical of a dog with a grade three, or possibly a grade four, but this is a grade three, bilateral luxation. This dog is walking bow-legged in its conformation, and he's just kind of limping. He doesn't really take any uh, non-weight-bearing steps. He just doesn't move normally. His patellas are displaced, um, in this case, to the medial side. A couple of steps. Whereas the one on the right is more typical of a dog with a grade three, or possibly a grade four, but this is a grade three, bilateral luxation. This dog is walking bow-legged in its conformation, and he's just kind of limping. He doesn't really take any uh, non-weight-bearing steps. He just doesn't move normally. His patellas are displaced, um, in this case, to the medium.